behind me is a mini Mapu Hall located at uh, Alesh Lawyer area of Ibadan. You'll be thinking this is iconic Mapu Hall in the heart of Ibadan city in Nigeria. Of course, Ibadan city in Nigeria is dignified with the site of Mapu Hall sitting right in the middle of the Asian city. Mapu Hall is the colonial style Ibadan city hall on top of Mapu Hill in Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria. Mapu Hall was commissioned during the colonial era by Captain Ross in 1929. It was designed and constructed by engineer Robert Jones. Just a century after, the new mini Mapu Hall is being sited and is also iconic, adding to the landscape of Ibadan. Can you see that? Figure that out. It looks very much like um, the main Mapu Hall. Uh, this is a uh, uh, you know uh, exhibition of uh, modern architecture that we can you know uh, with great ideas, great minds, a lot of good things can happen. This is it. Mapu Hall, the ancient Mapu Hall, was designed and constructed by a Welsh structurer and road engineer, Robert Taffy Jones. Notable for his exceptional skills and with other historical structures to his credit, to which the infamous Bowers Tower and Manor House in Ishayin Oyo State, an ancient British architecture, the construction of Maku Hall took four years from 1925 to 1929 and was then valued at £24,000. The foundation was laid by Captain W. A. Ross and who was then the resident of Oyo Province. However, it was commissioned by His Excellency Sir. Grime Thompson during the reign of Oba Senior Bala Latigbulu, who was then the Allah of Oyo and Chief Oyiwale, the Bale of Ibadan. Nearly a century after, a notable Ibadan high chief and former governor decided to reawaken the architectural Mapu spirit. An accomplished engineer himself, then Osi Olubadon, His Excellency Senator Rashidi Adewale Ladoja conceived the idea of the mini Mapu Hall sometime in 2018 but couldn't see the friction until yet another engineer took the reins of leadership in Oyo State in 2019. This ambitious project estimated at well over 160 million naira with respect to recent inflation costs was embarked upon by the traditional council of the Ibaran Southwest local government Happily led by the acting chairman of the council, High Chief Senator Engineer Rashidi Adewalu Ladoja, FNSE, then Osi Ulubado of Ibadan Land. Worthy of note is the fact that 60% of the initial cost was borne by the governor, as stated by the visionary. Now, let's take a ride in the city of Ibadan from the areas of Dubé and head towards Alesh Loye, where the new Mapu Hall is sited. So we're just a few meters away from Dube, from Coco House building, and we're headed towards Iyagonku. So just after Iyagonku, you'll be seeing a road crossing to turn to the right, which is towards Alesh Lawyer Market. And that is the place where the new Mapu Hall is sited. Now, arguably, one of the very first set of outright new projects started by the Governor Engineer Shima Kinde FNSE. His administration, unlike the Asian Mapu Hall, whose foundation was laid by Captain W. A. Ross but commissioned by His Excellency Sir Graham Thompson, the foundation of this mini Mapu Hall was laid by the Executive Governor of your state on January 29, 2020, and commissioned 28 months and 21 days later on Wednesday, 8 June 2022. This is an history making and uh, by excellence, the commissioner ceremony was graced by all the wool and wool in Ibadan land, from the Olubadan or by Dr. Moshur Likon Balogun Ali Okumade II, happily represented by the Ashipa Olubadan High Chief Edward Oyewole, the Olubadan in Council, the Oshi Olubadan of Ibadan, Senator Rashid Ladoja, other high chiefs in Ibadan, Central Council of Ibadan Indigenous, and the foremost elite indigenous association in Ibadan. Or more at Jerusalem Club. Eight list politicians were also in attendance, from members of the federal legislature to top government dignitaries in the state and local government. This mini Mapu Hall 
takes after the ancient Mako Hall in nearly all facets. The gigantic structure, though slightly miniature, cannot be missed from any point of approach to the Ibaran Southwest local government secretariat, presenting in front with a, a semblance of the gigantic tall palatial pillars as well as large Victorian windows and huge doors as observed on the ancient Mako Hall. The mini Mako Hall embodies a large inner council hall with elegantly dropping royal chandeliers as well as galleries on both flanks at the top and rear. A sensible conference room situated right behind the main hall. CCTV cameras at every corner within and without the building. World class wireless circle, you know, sound system with pre fabricated speakers hanging on the walls and an unmistakable marble flooring. This content was published on Inside oyo.com as written by Ola Dayo Ogowale The mini Mapu Hall in Nevada Only one that was a cannibal I'm a cannibal don't you say the foundation of laying ceremony for this wedding took place on the 20th January 2020 by His Excellency Engineer the Executive Governor of Oyo State. Yes, during the reign of His Imperial Majesty, Yoba Dr. Salu, Akamu Adesanti Aji, Ubungu Niso Wan, the Oluvado of Ibadan Land. This is the front side of the Mako. We also have inscripted on the wall the Ibarra Southwest National Council members of the building committee. Uh, the also members of the Southwest Local Government National Council. It's a very, it's a very nice structure. The um, Traditional uh, drama right in front at the entrance of the, the mini map. And here is the entrance. And we, we, we are not able to go into it, but this is just um, a snapshot of the uh, mini map, which is very nice. It's so beautiful indeed. It? It's really mini map. I stand out, it's very nice. It's very nice. I have an open space. I think it should be used for events, uh, former events. There's a picture of the governor right at the entrance of the building. It's really looking good. You know? hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. 